Ladies and gentle weebs, welcome back to another video. My name is the Amethyst Abrams, and my fellow flames, we have exceptional news about 1.2 in Wuthering Waves. We're going to break everything down here today. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like and subscribe button down below, and let me know in the comments what you think of these developer notes. We're starting to get a lot of information about 1.2, and I'm excited. I am excited for 1.2, and I hope you guys are as well. Some think it's a dead patch, some are excited as I am. I'm excited for every Wuthering Waves patch, because it gives me more Wuthering Waves content to cover for you guys, and just more Wuthering Waves content to play and have fun with. So without further ado, let's begin this. But really quickly, guys, before I do, a lot of you that view my videos are not subscribed, so please, if you enjoy my content, consider hitting that like and subscribe button, and leave a comment down below if you enjoy my content. Let me know what your thoughts are about all of the things we discuss here on the Amethyst Abrams channel. Without further ado, let us begin this. So if we go to gameplay here on the gameplay tab, we have the Wuthering Waves Developers Message Volume 4 version 1.2 optimization preview with a special note from the developers. Dear Rover, Wuthering Waves version 1.2 in the turquoise moon glow is on the horizon. Here's a sneak peek at the upcoming improvements and the special note from the dev team. Let's dive deep into this version 1.2 optimization preview. The new custom lock-on feature. Ladies and gentlemen, people have been wanting this for so long since 1.0, since the release, and they're finally giving it to us. A custom lock-on feature. Let's see what it has to say. In version 1.1, we implemented several quality of life improvements to the auto lock on system, including optimizations for resonators and some echo skills. With the release of 1.2, you'll gain access to, a, to the new custom lock on feature under settings and control. This option allows you to set the audio lock on priorities for enemies based on your combat preferences. Now, this should give us a big improvement to um, to the lock-on system in Wuthering Waves. It is flawed. A lot of people said it was flawed. Some people are still complaining about it now. But it looks like Kuro Games has sort of, you know, like, uh, um, acknowledged that. And they're now doing more implementations and more quality of life changes to this feature. So, next feature. The new utility hover droid shooter. Oh, yes! This is great! We've heard your feedback regarding the need to frequently switch between teams and there are no pistol using resonators available for challenges like the photon vault and similar puzzles. Oh my god, this is what we've been looking for. I was one of the people, I, I said this in a previous video recently. In version 1.2, you'll be able to use the new hover droid shooter utility tool. Once the utilities feature is available, you can equip the hover droid shooter in the utility wheel to shoot the hover droid, simply tap and hold the basic attack button. More hover droid features are under development. We hope this new addition will help you better explore Solaris. This is, an, this is amazing. This is amazing. But also, here's the thing. It was so frustrating constantly having to switch characters to gun and shooter characters just for certain puzzles. But also at the same time, doesn't that now take away, again, a little bit of importance for shooting characters? Gun characters, in my opinion, are kind of whack. We don't have many of them, but the ones we have are whack. And one of the only uses we had for them was puzzles. Other than Mortefi, he's very, very good regardless in any team because of his buffs and his kit. But... Now they've taken that away from them. And they've give us, given us a very good utility tool. A very good and positive utility tool. That I'm, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to use. We, I, oh, I, I would have hoped they added this earlier. But I'm glad they're adding it now. Kuro Games, you are listening. It's taking you some time, but I'm glad you are. New features to store excess wave plates. They're adding the store feature for the wave plates. Interesting. Let's read it. A new feature to store um, excess wave plates will be introduced in version 1.2. Once you reach the wave plate cap, you will receive wave plate crystals instead. These crystals can be exchanged for wave plates of equivalent value. Yes, Kuro! Yes, this is another thing we've wanted. Yes! You will regenerate one wave, wave plate crystal for every, tw every 12 minutes up to 480 wave plate crystals once the limited limit is reached you will be you will not gain addition i don't care this is insane kuro this is amazing 
Amazing quality of life change. This is so good. It's going to make grinding a lot simpler. It's going to make the, the logging, logging in and doing your dailies and getting the things you want much easier and much more super smoothly. Excellent feature here. Amazing feature. I, again, could have got it sooner, but I'm glad to add it now. Number four, new Resonator Showcase feature. What's this? With the release of 1.2, you can view and display the convene scenes of unlocked resonators with the Resonator Showcase feature. Are you, are you serious right now? Tap the avatar on the terminal screen to open a Resonator Showcase. You can display up to three selected. That's awesome! Are you serious? So now if I want to just, some of these animations are amazing, by the way. So you're telling me I can just review these whenever I want? This is amazing. This is such a fun little gimmick that they've added there. Because the fact that you can't review them is, is it was, was ludicrous. Like Jinshi's that they're showing right now, one of the best in the game. Chung Lee's again, an, another, another great one. I can't wait. That's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. Good, good, good little, good little fun thing. To add there, Kuro. Thank you. That's, that's 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 nice. I like that. Option to play at 120 FPS. So many people have been asking for this. I see so many people going, I want to play at 120 FPS. So and so hurts per set. Like, so, so good. The 120 FPS option will be available on select PC devices in version 1.2. Stay tuned um, for our official announcement for more availability details. Number six. New Depths of Elusive Realm store rewards. Okay. Thank you for your love and support for Depths of Elusive Realm. No worries. It's a great goddamn mode. As we approach the final stages of 1.1's Dreams of a Blaze in Darkness event, the White Cat will bring new exchange items to the Elusive store. To help you try out and level up more resonators, we will add more exchange items to the elusive store in subsequent versions of depths of elusive realm of, of the depths of elusive realm event these items will be available as the convene events for the second half of each versions are released very good more depths of elusive realm we love to see it you will receive a system mail reminder after the exchange items are added please remember to exchange the rewards after fully exploring depths of elusive realm. yeah of course nice more depths of elusive realm stuff. That's, that's, that's their best end game mode they've added. Very good. More guidebook activity points from the daily quests. With the release of 1.2, the activity points rewards for the spend 180 wave plates daily quest will be increased from plus 20 to plus 60. Okay. We hope this change will help you complete your daily activity points. This is so good. Hell yeah. That means if you, that's amazing. That's amazing. Hell yeah. They're adding so many quality of life changes in 1.2. 1.2 is the quality of life change update. That's what this is. This is going to make the game a lot more easier and fun to navigate. A lot more less grindy and more casual. It's going to help a lot of players in this game um, basically do what they need to do. Especially new players coming into the game. A special note from developers. Version 1.2 in the Turquoise Moon Glow is coming soon. In this update, we'll introduce the Moon Chasing Festival event and, to, and dedicate ourselves to address any issues that have impacted your experiences so far. Okay, so this is sort of like, so this is kind of like a, we're sorry for the stuff you've been experiencing, like the negative stuff, uh, but also thank you for uh, supporting the game through and through um, up until the present day. Okay. We're well aware that many aspects of Wuthering Waves still have room for improvement, and we're committed to listening to your feedback to continue, continually optimize and, and enhance the game. Together, we, we aim to create a better Solaris 3 and offer you more thrill, thrilling adventures. Thank you. That's a nice little message there. Okay, this is good news. Good news. We are also excited to announce that e that everyone will receive the five-star resonator Xiang Li Yao for free during the second half of version 1.2. Stay tuned for more details, detailed event information. Ladies and gentlemen, there was rumors that Xiang Li Yao was going to be free in the grapevine. 
I didn't want to say it was leaks. I didn't want to get into trouble. I didn't want to sort of confirm that these leaks were true. But I did hear rumors that this was coming to the game. That Zhang Li Yao is... D D D Genos Jr. from One Punch Man is going to be a free-to-play character. And ladies and gentlemen, he is. He is. We're getting a free five-star? Kuro just keeps goddamn cooking. They're cooking in the kitchen. How do you like your steak, sir? Medium to medium well. And ladies and gentlemen, you have your steak exactly how you ask, you receive. Ask for your steak cooked to how you like it. It's exactly how you wanted it. Here we have a free five-star Zhang Li Yao. And you know what? I'm not the biggest fan of his design. Like originally, they sort of cut off halfway to his, um, his torso halfway down. But looking at this image, I'm digging it. You know what? I'm digging it. Fair play, Kuro. Thank you, thank you, Kuro, for this free five-star Zhang Li Yao. That's actually a nice little uh, image there. I'm going to use that in thumbnails. I'm going to use that in thumbnails. I quite like it. Genos Jr. is going to be a fine addition to my team. A fine addition to my team. We are getting significant optimization and quality of life changes in 1.2. We're getting the wave plate crystals. We're getting the new utility tool, Hover Droid. We're getting the fix to the lock-on feature. We're getting this really cool Resonator Showcase feature right here, which I'm very looking forward to playing with. 120 FPS optimization. And on top of that, the Turquoise Moon Glow Festival, the Moon Chasing Festival, is on the horizon and we're getting a free five star to celebrate it this is going to be a, a very good patch well at the moment all of the updates and patches they've implemented like 1.0 was a good launch 1.1 was a very good um, patch in my opinion the events they've been giving us like depths of lucid realm like everything they've been giving us i've been thoroughly enjoying and I can't wait to enjoy more when 1.2 arrives. Now, I believe 1.2 is arriving on the 15th of August. I believe I saw 1.2 is arriving on the 15th of August. So we are one week away. One week and one day away from 1.2's release. I cannot wait to play this on stream and to create more and more content for you guys on this. I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. They, like, they, they are going to continue to just give us more and more. And, and and the thing is, before people just go, oh, they're, oh, they're doing this because Wuthering Waves is dying. Wuthering Waves isn't dying. Every gacha game and every live service game has their little slow period. Bear in mind, this is the second patch they're giving us. And they're giving us a free five star. And those who are saying they're giving us free five stars just because the game's dying. No, 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 no. We sincerely hope to join you on your adventures and look forward to your progress and growth in Modern Waves. Thank you again for your dedication and support. Anytime, Cure Games. Hire me as a voice actor, please. I beg. Absolutely amazing. Oh, and there's like an event coming. Yeah, there's like an event coming as well called Cleansing. Uh, the tacit field stuff, like yeah, that's, that's that's amazing. This is amazing news. Amazing news. Absolute amazing news from Kuro Games. Thank you, Kuro. Thank you, Kuro, for giving us an, a splendid game in the Gacha game community. I love this game. I can't wait to continue to play and and, and love this game. Granted, some of the things in this game piss me off, but I can I can overlook these transgressions because of the game you current you've given us. Okay, I love this game, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, more optimization improvements going forward. Kuro is continuing to cook, five star after five star, occasionally the odd four star meal, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button. You, those who are watching and have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it. We're approaching 1,000 subscribers. And with that, the 1,000 subscribers special video is currently under development and on top of that we've got new projects in the in the works collabing with other 
other other um, gacha creators that you may or may not be subscribed to and may not enjoy. So keep your eyes out for that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.